Hello students, so today we will start with increment function and A stable for a stiff differential equation. So, we introduced the idea or the definition of stiff differential equation in the previous class and today we will uh, take this discussion further. So, okay. so in the previous class, um, in the previous class or section, previous class or section whatever you would like to say, uh, section we saw that we saw that the instability, the instability, this instability uh, was related, was related to the way um, the homogeneous part, the homogeneous part of the OD was represented, was represented um, in the difference equation, in the difference uh, equation and this uh, then introduces this then introduces um, the notion of of increment function increment function psi for a difference equation for a difference equation um, being a discretization a discretization of the homogeneous part homogeneous part uh, or the homogeneous form, homogeneous part of equation number 2 and uh, since the time step, so equation number 2 from the previous class and since the time step times the coefficient lambda, the coefficients, the coefficient lambda turns out to be an invariant quantity to be an invariant quantity that is they always appear jointly appear jointly we may write the difference equation, we may write the difference uh, equation as x i plus 1 h equals to psi of h lambda x i h. Let us call it as equation number 1 and for Euler forward and Euler backward, we then have psi h lambda or lambda h equals to 1 plus h lambda and uh, psi of h lambda or lambda h equals to 1 by 1 minus h lambda respectively, right. So, this um, um, similarly we can again go back to Euler's backward and uh, we can try to plot uh, the graph for h equals to 0 0.05 and h equals to 0, 0. Point, um, uh, point zero zero six two five that we had in the previous class and uh, we will get these um, um, 
the, the table and from there we can com uh, compare what is our function psi or what are the values of the function psi uh, based on which type of forward or backward scheme that we are selecting, right. Now, um, let us further proceed. Um, so, basically, uh, uh, for a for a uh, k step for a uh, k step problem the difference equation the difference equation uh, generates um, k basis solutions um, each having its own uh, growth function uh, growth behavior as a function of h lambda as a function of h lambda. So, basically um, we can see that based on this uh, psi, I mean uh, when you are doing the computation. So, if you are going k steps, so in every k step uh, this psi lambda h which has uh, either if you are forward or either in the backward. So, this h into lambda actually determines uh, what type of uh, uh, solutions that you are getting and in the next step you again use this uh, uh, modified h lambda value and then you again compute the uh, next step solution and so on. So, this um, psi lambda h uh, which we have defined plays a very important role in either forward or backward order scheme and uh, we can compute the solutions of this uh, strip differential equation and uh, then it is sort of numerically not unstable in a way, right. Um, okay. So, now uh, this gives us um, uh, a motivation to define something called uh, A stable or A alpha stable, right? A stable and uh, A alpha stable uh, methods, A alpha stable uh, methods. So, what are they? So, again the quantity psi, the this is a little bit abstract. So, the quantity psi uh, in the previous section, in the previous section, uh, can now be used uh, to determine to determine whether or not a bounded uh, whether or not a method will be acceptable right acceptable. So, since uh, the problem in 2 that means 2 which was in the previous class uh, in 2 may be a model may be a model uh, for all kinds of ODEs ODEs including including uh, the ones with uh, Jacobian matrix having complex eigenvalues having eigenvalues. So, we allow lambda to be complex, we allow lambda to be complex. So, rather than h lambda, rather than h lambda, we shall consider uh, 
we shall consider psi uh, as a function of as a function of a single complex variable a single complex ah, sorry complex variable z right variable z say uh, variable z say okay so then from the definition of stability from the definition of stability of uh, stability uh, in uh, previous uh, in the stability chapter so in uh, stability chapter so the the place where we covered the stability of ODE so there we have this condition uh, we see that we see that uh, a discretization, a discrete i, uh, a, sorry, a discrete uh, discretization. Let us rewrite discretization formula as a formula induces so-called induces a so called uh, stability domain stability domain s where s is defined as all such all such z in set of all complex numbers such that mod of psi z will be less or equal to 1 let us call it as equation number 1 right so then for explicit rk formula that means runge quitter formula i will write it down uh, now but uh, for the time being let us say we know the rk formula runge quitter formula of order p uh, where p is equals to 1, 2, 3 and so on, one can uh, thus indicate domains as, so if we plot this then basically um, I will write for p is equals to 1 and maybe up to 2, so here uh, we have imaginary axis, this one is real axis and uh, suppose if z equals to minus 1 then this will be mod of z equals to 1 then uh, if our p, so this is for p is equals to 1 then when p is, um, so then when p is uh, 2 it will be more of this type uh, this is for p is equals to 2 then when p is uh, 3 so then it will ori so it will so here we have somewhere i so this is um, uh, this is i so when p is uh, so some this is 2y this is uh, minus of i then uh, minus of 2y so when p is 3 then uh, it will sort of look like this uh, i hope i will be able to draw the figure correctly so something like uh, something like this like this right so this is for p is equals to 3 so depending upon whatever order of runge uh, kutta method that you are considering you'll end up getting that kind of uh, graph um, or, or that kind of domain for the uh, uh, stability right so one can construct implicit uh, rk formula so one can uh, one can construct implicit 
आर के फॉर्मूला विच सो सो कॉल्ड ए स्टेबिलिटी सो कॉल्ड ए स्टेबिलिटी राइट एंड द डेफिनेशन द डेफिनेशन of this form of stability this form of stability is given as uh, below given as below so now we'll uh, talk about um, a little bit uh, a stability and uh, a alpha stability and uh, then we'll conclude this uh, uh, this chapter okay so let us continue so suppose um, we have uh, we have uh, this definition so uh, this example so example 1 so euler method uh euler forward method euler forward method so this is actually uh our this is actually runge kutta method of order 1 method of order 1 and uh from example or figure uh from example or from figure below i will write down the figure we see that we see that uh, the stability region the stability region is a disk of radius 1 is a disk of radius 1 centered at at z equals to minus 1 and uh, for euler backward for euler backward the stability region is the same problem that we have shown earlier epsilon x dot equals to minus of x uh, um, x minus bt and uh, there we can do the euler forward and euler backward so for euler forward uh, the stability region is uh, um, uh, uh, basically a disk of radius 1 uh, centered at z equals to minus 1 for euler backward the stability region uh, or stability area stability region is the area region is the area outside of the disk outside uh a disk outside a disk of radius 1 of radius 1 uh centered at at z equals to 1 and uh, hence this method is a stable this method is a stable so basically if you are doing the euler forward then we'll get uh, z equals to minus 1 so this is the region where we have stable solution right so this is the region we have stable uh, so this is imaginary axis this is real axis and the rest of the places we have in unstable we have unstable and uh, if we are going by euler backwards so then uh, at z equals to so this is at z equals to minus 1 here we have z equals to 1 so if you draw a disk so this is the region where we have unstable solution and uh, outside is the stable solution so stable right and uh, yeah so this uh, 
example again so is uh, what do we mean by a stability and uh, basically um, we can continue this uh, a stability part uh, um, to check for the example that we have just did um, where we can implement using our psi uh, we can implement euler forward euler backward and if by euler forward we get the uh, we get the stability region as this one by euler backward we get the stability region as this one and uh, this is basically our a stable uh, method the euler backward method right um, now uh, in order to have a criteria so in order to have a criteria have a criteria for monitoring for monitoring the stability uh, in more general way in more general way um, one has invented invented many other notions many other stability notions stability notions and um, we only wish so we only wish to show here the limitations limitations of the a stability concept a stability concept for a non autonomous system non autonomous system non autonomous uh, equation but still simple but still uh, simple linear OD still simple linear OD so let us see what is the limitation of a stability so we have x dot uh, t equals to a linear equation lambda t x t where lambda t is less than 0 and t is positive let us call it as equation number um, 1 so by Euler backward Euler backward method will get x h i plus 1 equals to 1 by 1 minus h times lambda t i plus 1 x h i that is we still have so here we still have stability right stability and uh, even the geometrical decay even the geometrical decay decay on the other hand on the other hand if we employ trapezoidal rule if we employ trapezoidal trapezoidal rule we find so trapezoidal rule we are already aware of uh, x i plus 1 h equals to 1 plus h by 2 uh, lambda at t i divided by 1 minus h by 2 uh, lambda t i plus 1 into x h i and uh, as one can easily check one uh, can uh, easily check one can easily check 1 plus h by 2 lambda at t i 1 minus h by 2 lambda at t i plus 1 is less than minus 1 if 
lambda at t i plus 1 minus of lambda at t i is greater than 4 by h. Hence, hence if d lambda by d t is greater than 4 by h square, the increment the increment in uh, let us call it as equation number. So, this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. Increment in equation number 3 is absolutely larger than 1. Right. And uh, therefore, uh, we can see that uh, for this particular example, um, we clearly which this clearly gives uh, asymptotic stability right so here uh, basically uh, so um, in this case um, so this gives sorry so this gives this gives uh, x h at i plus 1 equals to 1 plus h by 2 lambda at t i plus half by 1 minus h by 2 lambda at t i plus half x h i which gives the asymptotic stability asymptotic stability and uh, for stability in nonlinear case uh, for uh, stability stability in nonlinear case in non linear case it is uh, sufficient uh, to prove the following. So, basically suppose we have uh, uh, d x d t equals to our usual f of t comma x. So, one step method will be, so from here one step method is x h i plus 1 equals to x h i plus h times phi of whatever the right hand side we have t x i h x i plus 1 h comma h and uh, basically this is our uh, use uh, delta equation that we call and uh, this delta equation this delta equation um, is called contractive contractive on some domain omega on some domain omega if for each two solutions solutions x h i and uh, y h i with x h i and y h i belongs to omega for all i uh, there exist a k less than 1 such that norm of x h i plus 1 minus of y h i plus 1 is less than or equal to k times x h i minus y h i and uh, in particular following theorem will hold so uh, or result property that you can call it property so let uh, equation number let let us consider a nonlinear equation let us consider uh, equation let us consider equation let us go to previous section equation I do not know star equation star be contractive contractive 
on a domain omega on a domain omega that is there exist a negative function vt such that um, f of t comma x minus f of t comma y times x t minus y t is less than v t times norm of x t minus y t whole square. This is basically our usual dot product and that is less than 0 for all solutions for all solutions x y as long as they are in as long as x and y are in omega x t and y t are in omega then the Euler backward scheme then the Euler backward which was a stable Euler backward is contractive is contractive on omega right now um, so this much what we wanted to uh, um, uh, what we wanted to cover in uh, a stability um, now from uh, a stability we um, further go into something called uh, bdf methods and how do we um, apply these BDF methods for uh, stiff differential equation that we will cover in the next class. Uh, here we learned about uh, A stability and um, uh, Euler forward and Euler backward method um, and uh, we saw that Euler backward is actually the A stable and uh, for linear and for nonlinear uh, ordinary differential equation we derived the condition based on which uh, you can call it uh, A stable uh, stiff differential equation. So, we have one last topic that is a BDF method uh, to be covered in this uh, chapter and then we will move on to the uh, next chapter. So, that we will do in the next class. So, thank you for your attention and I will see you in the next class.